even though a lot of people, you know, they, they come in and they're all like, okay, so which other YouTubes do you like? YouTubers do you like for, for gaming? But I don't really have any. It's just, uh, it's one of those things where another way that I don't end up with any spoilers to the games is that I don't watch anyone else play games. And, I, and it kind of makes sense to me, but I think a lot of people are surprised by the way I don't, um, you know, watch other YouTubes when it comes to gaming. Hey, a little baby crabs. Hey, little fella. They are so mean when they grow up, the crabs, though. Uh, uh-oh. Speaking of mean adult crabs. I'm surprised I won, to be honest. Those things normally kill me. Fifteen fire arrows. Cool. Yeah, I do worry that my accent's not very clear, seeing as people seem to turn off of my YouTube videos after about four seconds. I'm wondering if they just, like... They can't understand what I'm saying, somehow. I think I sound fine when I listen to the, the videos, but I don't know. People don't seem to enjoy my YouTube all that much. Not a lot of viewers. But I have fun with it, that's what matters to me. Okay. It's time for a, for a boss, I think. Let's see how we do. Leonine Misbegotten. Whoa. He's pretty fast. So he's kind of interesting. I don't think that's impossible for me to do. But yeah, he caught me unawares there. When he kind of ended up with his glowing red eyes, I'm assuming he got a power up. And um, yeah, ouch. See if we can sneak back in and win this time. I like that you can sort of see him inside from the side. It's cool detail. Roll too early. That was all my own fault.
So, um, let's see. See, out of all of those games, I've never played Fortnite before. I did watch a friend, like, just kind of Discord stream me Fortnite when it was a more of a, like a, a game where you build a base and you fight zombies. Which is how Fortnite seemed to start, but it doesn't seem to be about that anymore. So that was like a long time ago when it first came out. Hey, we got it. It's not bad. I think that was two attempts or three attempts. The, oh, it's got a yellow background. The grafted blade greatsword. I think that's my first item that's got kind of like an orangey hue to the background. I wonder if that means it's super special. Whoa, requires 40 strength. And it is heavy. Okay. Colossal sword. Even though the name's called Great Sword, it's got the Oath of Vengeance on it. A storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret, one of the legendary armaments. Aha! A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. The Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the Great Sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the Oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. That sounds really, really good. I just don't think I have 40 strength for a long time. Wow, that's all. Oh, that's got 80% physical block. That's almost as good as a shield. That's really cool. Hey, a save point. Love it. It's a pretty cool island. I wonder if this is the... You know, the sword that the, the guard captain said... About how there's a special sword that he's supposed to be guarding here. Let's go back and see him, see if he talks about the fact that I've now got the sword. That could be good. So... I don't think I can use either of these teleports, because they're already down a hill that I can't get back up. I think I have to go from the start. So there just didn't seem to be a way back up the castle from these points. So yeah, let's... Let's have a little bit of a look around. Alright, I've got to summon the lift as well. Oh well. This will be time to have a drink.
Hmm. So the quickest way is probably up the right and then up the ladder and down the other ladder. following me. I think that might be everyone that was chasing me there. Uh oh. That didn't go to plan. Whoops. I should have thrown some fireballs in the room. That would have helped. Oh well. I'll get it right next time. Yeah, I really enjoy um, all sorts of different games. The only thing I don't really like is um, driving games. It's not really my sort of thing. I am not very good with vehicles at all. I'm full of feathers. Right, this is roughly where we want it to be. Oh, that's interesting. There was just one guy here last time. Okay, so we made it back to the guy. I'm hoping he's got something new to say after all the effort we went through to get to him. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. I'm no longer bound by duty. 
Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Hey, we did it. Now he's going to go back to his daughter. She's going to be all right. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains... Okay. So I'm, I'm glad that he's going to go back because she she's blind, apparently, according to her. Well, she's got really weak eyesight that makes her effectively blind. And now that the guards are dead out there, she's just sitting out there by herself. So let's go and, you know, see her, make sure that everything's okay. And see what he has to say when he, when he meets up with her. What? Did he kill her? No, why? What? Greener. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. Oh man, no, what? There's one of these cleavers here, I guess it was... Examine. She's dead. Oh man, that is awful, what? I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena. It will be done. I mean, yeah, I'll come with you if you want. I'll find them. The I'll hunt them down, rest assured. Man, that is what? I thought I was going to get the good ending because I found the sword. He no longer had to stay at the castle and he can get back to his girl. But look at this. This is a mess. What? I don't know what I should have done. Should I have stayed here with her? Because... You know, that wasn't going to advance the story either, but I I regret everything. I regret advancing the story. Oh my god. Edgar. Castellan Edgar. Well, hopefully we meet up with him later and we get to, um, you know... Help him out with whoever did this. So, we went up to here before. Before we dropped down, got that skill. And then dropped down to the cave. Yeah, man, that was devastating. That was awful. Like in Dark Souls 1, I had the guy that really loved the sun come and try and kill me at the end of it. He followed down to this dark place called Lost Isolith. And he tried to kill me. And I... I didn't want to kill him. I was just trying to defend him myself. He was... He, he'd gone insane. He'd literally gone bananas. And in order for me to live... He had to die? And that was... That was like... That was the beginning of my days playing Dark Souls. And I didn't... I didn't even really feel like playing the rest of it that day... But I did. But that was that was not a good way to start your day. Oh, I didn't see this house before. Oh. Yellow ember. Whoa. What is wrong with these rats? They don't... They don't normally have eyes like that. What the heck? They look a bit more normal now that they're... 
They're not killing me. So there's something wrong with the rats out here. It's my only clue so far. There's nothing wrong with the with the deer though. Oh that was a new that was a new crafting item, the eye of Yulo. It was a plant. Okay. Normally I don't bother looking at the you know the crafting items, but it was this one. Grows in a land afflicted by frenzy. A shrub fruit bursting with Ripened pulp, material used for crafting items, grown in lands afflicted by frenzy, is used for its pain relieving properties, though it is also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. So the rats have been eating this. this painkiller plant? Maybe. Whoa. Something wrong with him, too. This has got me on edge a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, there's something, there's something off. I might be heading up to a, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. These guys seem to... Oh. Okay. So they're not aggressive unless you go near them. But what are they doing? They're like clutching their eyes? Or their head? That one's clutching his eyes. That one's head. That one's eyes. That one's head. Okay. I'm going to try and go around them as much as I can. don't really want to add to anyone's suffering. Flame Crest Wood Shield. Tall, medium sized wooden shield. Light for its size, easy to handle. Carried by soldiers of the village that is afflicted by frenzy. The yellow flame is a symbol of the affliction. So who would sit there and design a shield for people who are afflicted? That's what I want to know. Uh, serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. So they gave them the shields to warn people that this guy's holding a crazy man's shield? It's really bizarre. And here, like a, a rat chirping around the back here. Let's, let's get it. Oh, whoa. I've got some debuff. So that's the first thing that struck me this whole time. Okay. Okay. Got an idea, actually. I'm going to have to finish this combat first. 
when I defeated the Spirit Moose on another level, I gained this. Focus governs resistance to sleep and madness. Frenzy could be something different to madness, but maybe it's the same thing. I'll try wearing wearing this for a bit. Just in, just in case. Keep on going into the wrong menu to do it. There we go. Oh, okay. So that's the same icon. Then the other thing it protects against is sleep, so I guess that's the icon for sleep. Okay. I'm on the right track, I think. Doesn't seem to be anything else in the house. Oh, this is a building too. Oh, okay. Kalu Baptismal Church. It's full of rats. Crazy rats. Flame of Frenzy. I'm not sure if I should be carrying such a thing. They look like a, a spell background. Yeah. Okay, emits burst of yellow. Flame of Frenzy from your eyes. Okay. Incantation originating from the maddening three fingers. Oh, we've heard of the two fingers before, but not the three fingers. Causes the yellow flame of frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. Charging increases the range of burst. The frenzy, the flame of frenzy deals damage and causes building up of madness. Its incantation also causes building up of madness in the caster, and is only effective against tarnished. It's really weird. Oh, I didn't look at poison mist earlier. Incantation of the servants of rot releases poisonous mist before the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Those who dwell within poison know rot all too well. The death begets life. That comes to all equally. That is to say, it is the cycle of rebirth put into practice. Seems legit. Sacred tear. Oh, cool. So this is like a theme with the churches so far. Or I get one of those items. It's nice. Okay, so we found the Village of Madness and survived. And then we got a spell of madness that uh, it doesn't seem like I want to cast that if it makes you mad. Alright, oh, I know where that is. That's before you get to the hole in the wall. Okay. So we'll do a, a quick patrol around the village, and then call that a win. These guys don't seem to have the madness. 